Mom, where'd you go? Huh. That's weird. Can I go in here? Mom? You cannot sleep when someone... <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I got the chills. I'm gonna show you the chills. I'm gonna show you all the chills. I got the chills, bro. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Mother. Now, this game says that it's about a young girl who comes home after an intensive surgery and a mannequin is at the house pretending to be her mother. There's nothing else that needs to be said. That's already a creepy story in itself. We're about to figure out what Mother's all about right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. There's a storm approaching right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Let's wake up. Mom? Oh, sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with Mother, to remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Do you make love to the mannequin that you call mom, dad? Do you dress it up and put lipstick on it? Tell me right now. You know, Liana, father turns down the radio. Da -da -da. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. That's bull, Dad. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Okay, so we have a few days to hang out with Maza before Afaza calls. The house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. That's creepy. I don't want to be in a house at nightfall, especially with a mannequin mom. Uh-oh. Sunday night. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you'd better run in before you get soaked. Press shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. Sure, Dad. I can't even see you. I would kiss you goodbye, but I know you don't really love me like that. Oh, boy. Look at those gates. They're not pearly. They're not purdy. This is creepy as hell already. Mom? Mom? Where are you, Mom? Oh, crap. Oh, this is so freaking scary already. Where is she? Dude, where's Mom? Oh, good lord. We can't open the door? Where's Mom at? You knock on the door. Oh, this is my brother's room. I have a brother? There was no answer. Okay. Well, where do I go? It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome you personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mom. P.S. I left a box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work. There is a lamp just behind you. It should help. There's a lamp behind me. It should help. Where? Where's the lamp behind me that should help? Oh. Okay. Here we go. You touch the lamp. Oh. I keep thinking that I'm going to see some weird mannequin mom. I have goosebumps all over my hands. I mean my arms. I mean everywhere. Where's the thing? Oh, here it is. There is a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants you to bring it out to him. You pick up the box. It's quite heavy. You know what? Just suck it up, all right? Just suck it up. Let's go. We gotta go to dad. Why is it so freaking scary already, everybody? I hate this game. Wait, where am I? Oh, crap. I have to go back out. I don't want to see any scary mannequin looking mom. I need a complimentary horror game flashlight too. Dad, the light! Turn on the high beams, damn! You're trying to blind me? Okay. Give it to Dad. Great, you found it. You give Dad the box. Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And please, be patient with her. 
She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but it wouldn't be safe. Looks like this storm is picking up. You'd better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. You know what? Mom used to be a mannequin at JCPenney. How hard can this be? I'm going to just go to bed. Okay? I'm going to go to sleep. And we're going to figure this out tomorrow. You have traveled far today. You are exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. What did that say? It said disengaging something. But it's Monday morning. And we've... Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Okay. Open up. Oh, no, open up. Holy moly. Okay. I wish it would kind of tell you what you have to do. I guess maybe it's cooler this way. That we can kind of just explore. You knock on the door. There was no answer. I'm starting to believe very early on that there's nobody else in this house but me and this mannequin. <gasps> there she is. She got a dump truck too. She got a mannequin, you know what I mean? Good morning, Liana. It's me. Your mother. Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. But as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always loved that little sign on your door. It's so you. I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your dear old mother. First things first, I have prepared breakfast for you. It's over there, on the table. It's your favorite. Is it? How do you know what my favorite is? Fake mom! Okay, let's see what my favorite is. Oh, great! A bowl of rice! What is that? Nutrients. Your favorite. <laughs> my favorite breakfast is nutrients. Yes, that is facts. And now we're in the afternoon. The days are just flying by, everybody. So this should be pretty easy. You ingested all the nutrients. Yum. It could have used more salt, though. I'm not going to lie to you, Mom. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? You ate that whole thing? That's interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so I was thinking... It could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. I thought you were going to show me, like a tour guide. She really is a mannequin. Look, she's so lifeless. That is interesting. You ate that whole thing? Oh, you're just going to repeat the same lines? Okay, let's explore a little bit. I like that we can pretty much interact with everything. <gasps> Wait, what? Who's that? Who the hell are you? The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Anyway, meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of yours. I feel like dad is punishing me by making me stay here. Maybe I killed the real mom. Look, the fake mom is gone. There's only a faker mom right there. And I bet the fakest mom's gonna be upstairs, isn't she? Where are you? <gasps> She's right there. What the heck is this game? Honey. Oh, I have great news. What was the great news? What was the great news? He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. 
Why won't he ever let us go in? Is he dead too? I have a feeling that nobody is alive in this house. But me. Or am I even alive? I mean, I can't see my toes. You're never really alive if you can't see your toes, right? Mom, why am I watching you be in the bathroom? And why is this mirror taped up? The mirror has been covered with tape. It is for your own good. Okay, something's definitely up. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. I'm sorry that I'm so ugly! Damn! Bro, this mom need to stop. I don't care if she's faker than my dad's tits. She needs to calm down. She almost gave me a freaking heart attack. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked, but we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. Do we, though? That concludes our tour. Okay. Whoa! Alright. So, this looks like a simulation. Mother has left. Has she? I am forbidden from entering mother and father's room. That's the boom boom room, right? Mom? Why does my bed look like this? It looks like a hospital bed. Because usually hospital beds have this, like, um, bed frame that looks like this. So maybe I'm not really here. I always have that theory in movies and games. The you're not really here theory. So maybe I need to stop with that. Nobody's in the bathroom. What does that say? You do not need to use the sink. You do not need to go. Let me talk to my brother. You knock on the door. There was no answer. I'll talk to you one day, bro. Because I love you. You're my one and only bro, bro. I actually wish I had a brother in real life. I really do. Where did mother go? This is bizarre. Mother, I'm hungry. Can I have more nutrients, please? You are forbidden from attempting to open this door. Yeah. So, being the rebel that I am, I'm obviously gonna open it. Touch the lamp. <laughs> I touched the lamp. Great. What's all this? You are forbidden from touching this record player. It is father's prized possession. I don't give a double doggy style damn what his prized possession is. I'm his daughter. I should be the most prized possession of all. You do not need to watch TV. Are you going to tell me I don't need to have fun too? Like what the hell is there to do in this house? You picked up the phone. But nobody's there. You put down the phone. <laughs> you exhale. You inhale. You exhale. You put the left foot in front of the right foot. Okay. Oh, there's mom. I can see that ass from a mile away. What's up mom with that but doinky? I... Liana! You startled me! You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous! How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows? Maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, tell you what. Tomorrow we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Yes, mummy. How do I nod up and down? Look at this sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. Can I watch the sunset or do I have to look at your ugly face this whole time? Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? Too bad I can't see, mom! I can't even turn my neck a little bit to the left. Come on. It's starting to get cold. Oh. It's night. This is spooky time. What? It was night and I couldn't even go inside with you, Mom? I'm freezing my ass off. It's so cold, Mom. Mom? Can I have nutrients? Can I have milky? Anything? Where are you? What the? Mom, where'd you go? Huh. That's weird. Can I go in here? Mom? You cannot sleep when someone- <gasps> Oh! Oh! Fuck, that's scary! Bro, I- Oh my god, I got the chills. I'm gonna show you the chills. I'm gonna show you all the chills. I got it in my arm. Look, look, chills. Can you see the chills? I got the chills, bro. 
That is so terrifying. You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. I don't even want to look. Mom? Oof! God! Why are you just standing there in the corner of the room, Mom? Privacy, please! <laughs> Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. Yes? I've had to do a lot of things that I have regretted. So please, no more. For the sake of this family. What are you talking about, Mom? Sorry I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. I didn't, Mom. Thank you for making this the most miserable experience. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in, just like before. Alright. Oh, dude, that is so freaking creepy. This is such a weird game. Alright. <laughs> you know what the scariest part is? The fact that she's not really a human. And this little girl is in this big scary house all by herself. And who knows why this person is even talking to her. That's what makes it the creepiest thing to me. You get into bed, and mother tucks you in, just like before. Tuesday morning. Thank goodness it's morning. You know, oh, I thought she was gonna be there. You know in games when it's like bright outside, and you feel like this whole thing just kinda lets up a little bit? I feel like even though it's daytime, this game is still creepy as spook to me. Mom? I'm gonna just see if I can go in here. I am forbidden. It is forbidden! You can't go in there because it is forbidden! Mom, is it nutrients time? It is. Alright, what you got cooking up, mama? Oh. Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought. And I think we simply must do it. If there is any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. You mean by this dirt right in front? The ground looks so wet. Uh, you made it. This is our orchard. Do I have to be talking to your brown starfish? It means a lot to me. Come on, get me out the view of this ass. While you were in hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father. And your brother? He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life. It's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such a beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own. It takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. Spending your energy on helping them grow, only to have disposed of the failure. And that's where our hope comes in. And I have hope. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. Afternoon. It took me all afternoon just to get to that part. Mother is waiting near the graveyard. There's a graveyard by this house. Yeah, if this is a simulation, is that mom right there? What about that path right there? The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. Although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With a future as hopeful as ours. I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. It's time to move on. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. I think the girl died. And then they're trying to have her memory live on in like a simulation. Because there's just no way that this is possible. Oh, wait. There's actually another path behind this house for real. This wasn't here before. Am I blind, everybody? That spot wasn't open before. Unless I'm just being really dumb. That's probably what it is. You see that barn up there? No, because I'm looking straight at that ass. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. 
A survival notice. Do not enter the barn. Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Wait, I want to enter the barn. I want to see what's going on in there. If you tell me no, obviously I'm going to be more curious. Survival notice. Do not enter the barn. Can I go in here? I can't move the barn door. I mean, you know, I realistically, I could just jump over it, but whatever, dude. I hate that it shifts from, like, day to night, and I'm still in the same exact spot that I was in. Because look at this. This looks like the exorcist house. You know, with the lonely light and just randomness. Mom is making some meals. Is she actually moving her arms? Dude, she is. But she's not really a mannequin then. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. How was your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night just to see how things are doing. Oh. He's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. What are you gonna do, a Kamehameha? Why are you moving like that? If it says you cannot sleep when someone's in your room, I might die. I might die. Like, <laughs> I might. <laughs> Bro, I might die inside. <gasps> God is so freaking scary, dude. That is so freaking terrifying. Mother, I've thought of the most marvelous idea. I have the chills again, but I'm not going to take off my shirt. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We will get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. Yes, mom? Whatever you say, mom. Man, like, I have played a lot of games. This one is unsettling for some weird reason. Mom? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to bed now, alright? Night! If it says somebody's in my room and I can't sleep, I might have to let up a gasp. It's been a long day, but now it's night. And you must sleep to progress. Whew! Good thing I didn't have to do that high-pitched gasp. Damn, that probably would've hurt my throat. But yeah, this looks straight up like a hospital bed. Which leads me to believe that we're in a simulation, and we actually didn't get better. And I think this is how the mom and dad are coping, by um, putting me in a simulation. So I think that's what's going on. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Let me see if I can talk to my brava. You knock on the door. There was no answer. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry that I'm not a better sister! I want to be better for you, bro. Please give me some nutrients. I'm so hungry. Good morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better to start bright and early. If you head down there, there is a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed, and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table if you feel like you need it. I need it really bad. You forgot to feed me yesterday! Come on, nutrients! Your favorite. You ingested the nutrients. See, that's what leads me to believe that she's still in the hospital bed. Because sometimes when you're not able to do things for yourself, they kind of just give you the necessary nutrients um, inside of your body, you know? They put that shit in your veins. But I didn't forget that I need to call dad Thursday. But right now, we have to spend time with mommy. Mommy. In the orchard. This is the orchard, right? In this long, dong-ass walkway? It better be, or I'm going to be very embarrassed. I think it is. Yeah, these are the orchardist orchards that I've ever seen. Mom? Where are you? Is that the shed? She's gonna kill me in the shed. It's gonna be like one of those mystery games. She killed the daughter in the shed with a hammer. No, she's right here. Hello, mommy. You found me. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, 
You should be done by the afternoon. You're making me do hard labor? I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. Really? Didn't I just come back from the hospital? And you're making me pick apples? And it's hot as balls outside? You suck! You suck, Mom! Okay. You picked up the apple basket. You are now able to pick apples. I forgot. You know, even though I have two hands, I can't pick apples unless I have the basket. Why is that censored? You guys see that? Hold up. How do I jump? What is that? Can I click on it? I can't click on it. It's censored. What the? It's more censored than an adult Japanese film. Oh, there they are. You picked the apple. Okay, so I just need seven more of these bitches, so let's speed run through this thing. How do I know how many I have in my basket? This has to be the eighth one. It's gotta be. <gasps> it is! Yes! You know what? I feel like I'm about maybe five feet tall. How the hell did I even grab that? That thing was high up there. That shit was at least 13 feet. But I have the apples, mummy. Are you proud of me, mama? Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You work like your life depends on it. It does. Because I feel like you're going to kill me soon. Isn't it so great being out here in the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air. The crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with, so I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You earned it. I really did. Like, those apples were a bitch. You place the basket of apples on the shelf. She better not be right behind me. You take a rest as per mother's request. Okay. I thought maybe I had to do like a slow 180. And I'm resting inside the shed? Why? Oh, come on, dude. Dude, imagine if she runs at me like an angry dog with rabies. Just imagine a mannequin mom coming at you like that. Coming at you live. No, just no way. I'm not. This game could be way scarier if it wanted to be. Like, honestly. It could be a million times scarier if it really wanted to be. I'm glad that it's not just pressing itself on the gas pedal. And it's kind of just, like, taking its time with me. Because I am very scared. Mom? <gasps> She's right there. Dude. Every time I see her, it makes me want to put my hand over my mouth and just gasp. You know? Saikuno style. Sorry I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today, despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. Get some rest. Again? Mom, I just rested in the shed. What? Liana, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger, you don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. Well, you keep calling me Liana and my name's Jay, so obviously I don't remember anything, Mom. You should get to bed. I should. I really wish I had a flashlight in this game. Because look at this. This is terrifying. She's going to be in the corner, everybody. Just be aware. What? She's not. Is she? Mom? Mom, are you in my room again? You're not? You have worked hard today. Mother suggests that you should get some rest. Why is going to bed in this game the most intense thing ever? It's Thursday, though. I get to call Dad. Okay. So, before we talk to Dad today, I actually want to see if we could talk to our bro. You knock on the door. There was no answer. Predictable, predictable. Just another day of the week. Mom's not here. Mom? The phone's here, though. Let me call Dad. You pick up the phone. But nobody's there. Put down the phone. I like how it tells you every single thing that you do. Mom? Oh, there's a note. It's a note for you. Liana, I started to feel unwell last night. I have had to go back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From Mom. 
Mannequins get diarrhea? How the hell do you not feel well, mom? You don't even have organs. Nutrients. Your favorite. You ingested all the nutrients. Ooh, they're all so yummy in your tummy. You wonder what is wrong with mother. And now I'm gonna check on her in the afternoon. A few hours later, I feel like she's around every corner. Wait, let me see if I can call dad. Nobody's there. I think maybe he said Thursday evening. Mom is looking out the window. <laughs> I was gonna check in her room, but she's already looking out the window. Hey, mom. Liana, about yesterday, if I came across as irritated, then I am sorry. You better be. I hope you can forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well, and it's not fair for me to push you. How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. But weren't you not feeling well earlier? Mother has disappeared. Ooh, dad's calling. Yay! We get to talk to dad. We get to talk to dad. Actually, I hate my dad. Hello? Liana, that's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one. Hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? What do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course! What's it to you anyway? Sorry about that. Wait, he said to his wife, not his daughter? Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes. This is the reason I called. Other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She told me that things aren't going too well. I am sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just... It's just what, Dad? Tell me. Let me jump in. Break it down to me slowly. She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. For either of us. Anyway! Try not to fight it, will ya? Goodbye! You put down the phone. That was weird. Ah! What? That man's optimism. That's what you call it? That's what you call it? Optimism, mom? He said he was talking to his wife! Fuck, that's scary as hell again. It's not often you see a man's greatest strength also become his greatest weakness. And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. Mom? What the hell are you talking about? Are we going to have a conversation? What is that over there? Looks like random words in the distance. Mom. Mommy. Do you see those random words in the distance? The cabinet is used for storing pans, trinkets, and pots. Mom, you're scaring me. Come outside. There is something I need you to show me. You need me to show you something outside. Isn't this your house? Man, what is this backwards-ass place? Got the dad calling his daughter a wife? Where do we live, Alabama? <gasps> You're already outside. Mom. The nights have been cold lately. That's because you're wearing a dress in the middle of night in the fall. Have you noticed? These are the kinds of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. Well, you need to stop going out when it's like negative four degrees outside. This one feels especially chilling though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. You want me to go towards the moon? Well, I also want a million dollars, but I don't see that happening, right? So how about you close that mouth, and I go back inside, I go to sleep, maybe put on some Netflix. You're not gonna let me, right? I have to go to the moon? All right, well, see you later, mom. That is a scary sight. This game is freaky deaky, dude. This is where the moon is, right? Please tell me. <gasps> She's right there. Oh 
Holy crap. Mom? Here we are. This is as far as you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. What? I want you to sleep here tonight. I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. Okay? You want me to sleep here tonight? Whatever you say, Mom. I'm gonna sleep, uh, right here in this grass. This grassy ass. You want me to sleep right here on the ground? Oh, you lie on the ground and wait until morning. So I basically had to lay by her feet. Like I was bound down to her. You feel well rested. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad I feel well rested. What is that over there? Oh, it's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. All right, all right, okay, okay. I like how the ground doesn't even look real at all. Like it looks fake. Like this is a TV screen on the ground and it's just showing me what grass and dirt look like on the ground. The whole game looks like that. That's why I feel like this is a simulation. But it's Friday, the best day. And let's see what mom's up to. Mom? Mom? <gasps> what the heck? Mom? Error, no dialogue. Uh-oh. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now, it seems like your only choice. Ah! That was odd. Mom, you're bugging out. Nutrients. Yummy. I love nutrients in my tummy, mommy. I never thought I'd be saying shit like that. But here we are. That's what this game does to me. It is Friday afternoon. And don't tell anybody I said that, alright? I will allow you into the graveyard. Just for today. Alright, are we gonna see Squidward's hopes and dreams? I guess I'm gonna go to the graveyard. I feel like I need the hammer. Maybe we're gonna find the hammer when we go to the barn. But the graveyard is down this way. So she unlocks things for me. Because I remember that spot behind the house was locked. And then this spot had like some planks on it. But now we could just go to the graveyard. I think it's completely crazy that there's a graveyard in front of a house. Look at that. The thing's censored. Error. How come I can't go over there? I want to see. Proceeding could risk core instability. You must not proceed. I must proceed. I want to see it. We have to go there, everybody. I don't care. If we have nothing to do right now, we're going to go see. You must proceed. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Look at that. Oh. This object has been mental blocked to prevent any potential conflict. Left click to continue. Oh, the thing went off. Who is this? Oh, God. We demand the immediate servicing of any unit shown to suffer a core conflict. Are you sure you want to continue? Oops. Liana's grave. I told you she died. It says Liana's grave right there. Our angel. We will never give up on you. <gasps> oh, God. I knew it. I knew that someone was going to be back there. How does this make you feel? You can speak if you like. Mom? Is that you? You don't have anything to say? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm here! That's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? I think she's in a coma, Liana. I must go inside. Your father is coming to visit. And I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad? He's here too? Please go to bed. What's going on? You're probably wondering what's going on. Okay, we'll talk about what happened in the morning. Yeah, Liana's dead. That was her grave. They made a statue for her. Core conflict contained. Control restored. Next objective, go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. Okay, because I guess I was just so freaking sad. Uh-oh. Again? Our angel, we will never give up on you. Oh, I was scared to turn around, everybody. You all saw that? Like how slow I turned around? Fuck no. Okay. If I run into the mom's body right now, I am gonna just die right here in this chair. There's a light on. <gasps> mom's inside one of the rooms. Hey, mom! What you doing over there? Get the meatloaf ready. This lady. Talking about how she want to take care of me. Can't even warm up the meatloaf. Wait, she's down the hall. 
She's in her room too. Wait, look. Somebody's inside. You knock on the door. Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. Oh, the brother did say something. And the dad came to visit, that's why. That's why she's in there. You hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. It's not? They're my mom and dad, but hey, it's none of my business. Okay. What can I do? It's either arguing or robotic sex. Let me just go to sleep. It's been a long day, but now it is night, and you must sleep to progress. But they're arguing though. How can you sleep? I guess maybe you could just put on headphones. But everything seems good now. I'm just gonna let it slide. I'm just gonna let it slide. You scared the hell out of me again, though. You're awake? Angel, you're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That's my girl. But wait, I accidentally went out the room. Core objective, be with mother. I don't want to be with mother. I actually kind of want to see some secrets in here. This is your desk. Turn off the light. Hold on. I need to figure some things out, everybody. How do I get a hammer? Because I want to go in that one bathroom down the... I can go in the room? Whoa! This place sucks! No wonder you didn't want me to see this dog shit room. What do I do here? Oh, I don't want to be in the closet. Can I open this? It says be with mother. But I don't want to. At least our brother talked to us today. Let's see if he says anything else. I'm not allowed to enter his room. I was actually just trying to talk to him. There was no answer. So maybe he only talks at night when the TV's on? Because that was the one and only time that he said anything to me. Angel, you startled me. Well, that makes two of us. I told you to stay in your room. Please. It's for your own good. What? You just said be with mother. Core objective, be with mother. Mother is hiding. I don't want to be with mother. Why would I want to be with mother? Let me eat my nutrients. Because nutrients are the best. They're the best thing for a growing girl. She was right here tucked in between the butt cheeks of the back of the house. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. Please listen. I'd prefer for you not to do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. We leveled up. Sweet. Core objective. Saturday afternoon. Okay, she wants me to quit, but never! Never gonna quit. Never gonna give you up. I have to keep finding mother, but she doesn't want to be found. And it says core objective be with mother. There you are. Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. Just leave me alone. I don't want to. I love you, mom. Where are you? <gasps> give me your love. Where you think you're going, huh? You running away from your responsibilities? Not on my watch with your shower curtain wearing ass. Get over here. Da, da, da. As you can see, there is nothing out here for you. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. Yeah, you're a mannequin from the mall. You're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here in this world. I know what I must do. What is that? Saturday evening. If I spawn right here in front of this gate and gotta go back, I will not do anything. Great. Okay. We just have to be with Maja. And potentially Faja. Damn, look at this. It just got a lot creepier. She's hiding from me in the shed. What in the world? Mom! What? Angel, you're not well. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. 
I'm so sorry. What does that even mean? Look at the shadow. Her shadow looks creepy as hell. You are to stay in the shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I am going to close the door behind you. You are forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. You may not understand, but please, trust me when I say that this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all of this again. Quit. Now. I don't want to. And you know what? I could just leave through one of the open windows. There's like eight of them. Holy shit. He keeps telling me to be with mother. You are forbidden from opening this door. Core objective, be with mother. So yeah, this is not me. This is the simulation controlling this shit. These apples have had their course cut out. You're no different to the apples. That is what mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They have started to rot. Core objective, be with mother. Stop telling me to be with mother. She clearly doesn't want to be with me. How do I jump out of the door? Unable to progress. Contingency, initialize backup core. I want to be with mother. Do I? I didn't say that. The game said that, not me. I'm chilling right here. Kind of nice. Peace and quiet. Nice breeze. I want to get out. You are unable to get out. Why? Mother said you are forbidden from opening this door. But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective, be with mother. I need to open this door. Okay, then give me the strength. Like, program me to be able to punch the door open. I will open this door. I will open this door. Okay, I guess I did open the door. I did! I opened the door. Yay! Core disconnected. Automatic control resumed. Be with mother. What the heck? So, I guess I'm the bad guy in this whole game after all? Because it looks like mother is the one trying to help me out. But I'm over here just being with mother. You know like in those horror movies, those scary ass kids that are like, Hello mother. I just want to be next to you mother. Why is it so foggy? Holy shit. I don't even know where the door is. Oh. Mom? Oh! Oh fuck! It's creepy. It's scary. Please, please. Mom? I can't go in the room. You in here? Please tell me you're in here. Or this is gonna suck. You touched the lamp. But I, I wanna be with mother? You cannot sleep with someone in your room. <laughs> someone's in here. Bro, someone's in here. Where are you? Mom? Mom? Who the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Mom! What? Someone's in my room! Hold up! God. Whoa. Son. Keep your door closed at all costs, okay? It's only staying for one more night. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just do not open your door to her, no matter what. You'll be safe as long as you don't let her... Uh-oh. This is awkward. I heard you talking shit, Mom. Stay back. We don't want anything from you. Just stay away from us. Whoever you are, leave this family alone. I must call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to mother. Wait, you said that mother or was it the game? I'm confused now. But you do not make a sound. Why can't she hear me? Insufficient PC synchronization. She does not hear you, you must try again. You attempt to call out to mother. I call out to mother. Did it just speak? Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Isn't this exactly what you wanted to happen? Not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. Without a purpose, it will hunt us until it gets one. I told it to wait in the shed until your father arrived, but contamination is already setting in. I'm gonna try to give it another order. Liana? Angel? Wait here until morning. You are not her. Okay. Like I said from the get-go, this is 
not Liana, obviously. Maybe I'm the mannequin. Error code. What am I? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. This shit is hella interesting. You are not you. If you are not you, then who am I me? If I'm not me, then who is he? And she is she? We oui, we? Oui? Okay. Let me get my nutrients in. She made breakfast again. I do not need to eat. I refuse. You refuse? If you refuse and you're losing, remember that. Can I pick up the phone? You pick up the phone, but nobody's there. So I put it back down, gently. Mom? I'm not me. A plate of dirt. I will not eat it. You cannot make me eat. I'm not going to. No. I will not. I didn't. I didn't eat it. Oh. Dad? You pick up the phone. Angel! It's me, your father. Listen! I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on Wednesday morning, and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we cannot do that unless you cooperate. My research has come such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement, so I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we'd better get going. See you soon. And please, eat up. Try not to fight it. Eat up. You put down the phone. You want me to eat? Good morning, Angel. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. You want me to eat up, right? The nutrients? You decide to eat it. Even though I don't want to. You are not in control. You cannot make me eat. Okay. Maybe I could have had a real choice there? Don't do this. Disgusting. Okay. What are you looking at, Mom? It's not even a view out there. All you can see is bars. Now this whole thing is glitching. The simulation? Not. Long. Now. The kitchen knife? What does that mean, the kitchen knife? There's a kitchen knife? Tell me. I want some sweet ass kitchen knife. Where's the kitchen knife? I obtained the kitchen knife! It's time to end this! Yeah! Time to end this shit! There's a note though. It's a note for Liana. Hi Liana. I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm not there to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days. Oh, that was the note from the beginning. Oh, the barn thing's open! Sweet! This is where I wanted to go. Why is there like a plank thing at the very end of the barn? Mom? No surprises, okay? Whoa. That's kind of creepy. <gasps> She's right at the top. Fuck. I almost feel bad for her. Keyword almost. But I don't know. That's not my real mom, right? That's just a mannequin? If I just imagine it's just a mannequin, it'll make things less weird. Right, mom? I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Ah, good. You brought it. Give me the knife. Now's our chance, killer. I hand mother the knife. <laughs> and there's three question marks like, wait, why did I do that? What? No, no, no. That's a good girl. Now let's watch the sunset. Why did you hand it over? Go on, get as close as you can. Core objective, it's time to end this. That isn't what I meant. Okay. You want me to be here? Is that what you want me to do? Okay. You watch the sunset. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there, I feel I at least owe it an explanation. You know what? I think I know what's going on. None of this was your fault. I think that the girl's consciousness was put into some kind of robot or a mannequin. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles. We could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience. 
but it will never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. And that's okay, because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. You feel mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. Damn. Mom? You feel? Oh, crap. She really put that thing on me, didn't she? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? The continued exposure to material that might suggest conflict with the pre-established self will result in further contamination. Okay, so I think the dad works for this technology place, and he put Liana's consciousness inside of a robot. And I think that's why it happened. Core disconnected from player. Click to continue. Well, the father's here. There's a storm approaching. Right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Oh. Huh. Wait. I'm back where I started. Oh, sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with mother, to remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Okay, um, so this whole thing just restarted. So it's either the simulation failed and I'm doing like a new one to see if I can get like a, a new ending, like a successful ending. Or there's going to be something different once we get to Mother's house. I guess we'll find that out right now. Okay, so I tried going through this whole week and now I don't think that I can come here. You must not proceed. Okay. So I didn't proceed this time. I'm just going to go back to the house and let's see what happens. Because yeah, the first playthrough, I just clicked on that blurry shit and then I saw that it was my grave. But we're not actually going to bother with that this time. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Oh. oh, what are you watching? Oh, what are you looking at? What the? So you made her sleep outside? Evelyn, that's inhumane. It accepted my request without batting an eye. Our little girl would have never done that. Don't tell me you've forgotten what she was even like. That's not the point. Okay, if she's following the script you speak of, why isn't she in bed like she normally is on Friday night? I don't know. But it will do it eventually. It has to, or its brain won't let it progress. You haven't seen the way it moves around the house with such determination toward its objective. It scares me. Stop calling her that. She's got our daughter's core. She's in there somewhere. What would you rather do? Give up, knowing that there was something you could have done to save her? I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about this next model. I'll deliver her on Sunday night, as usual. Okay, so like I said, she's a robot, but the girl's actual memories are inside of the robot, kind of. And she hasn't shown any signs of searching for the hidden switch. You know how catastrophic it would be if she found out what was in the downstairs bathroom. Don't worry, I had her out working with me on Wednesday afternoon, as usual. There's no way she'd be snooping around the house at that time. Besides, why would she touch your prized possession ever? Let alone at that time. Okay, okay. As long as you're sure. I am sure. Besides, I rush home to ensure the door is locked that evening anyway. She would have to get to the house before evening. She would have to get to the house before evening. Okay, so I have to touch dad's record player, right? You are well rested. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh shit. Do we talk to her? Or can we just go straight to the thing? Oh, what the hell? She's already down here. Damn it. Yeah, this is dad's prized possession, right? You are forbidden from touching this. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have to do now. <gasps> Finally. So you have to do it right after the apple picking thing. You touch the record player. You hear a click behind you. Hell yeah. I was hoping mother wasn't there. 
That's why I kind of turn a little slow, but fast at the same time because I'm excited. You are forbidden from attempting to open this door. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Uh-oh. Deviated from critical path. Error. Code red. Return to critical path. Wednesday afternoon objective. Place apple basket on shelf. Hell no. Wait, no. Oh, okay. Memories accessed from previous lives. Sweet. Okay, so now we remember everything. Finally, we're making some progress. This is what I'm talking about. A critical error again? Deviated from critical path. Core objective, be with mother. Inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. No. <laughs> Let me live! Attempt number one complete. Nobody has come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number two. Oh, shit. Is anybody gonna come get me? Attempting number two complete. Nobody has come to help. Core objective still inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number three. Am I able to move? Like, can I move at least someday, please? Attempt number three complete, and nobody came to help. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. I definitely can't proceed, huh? Okay. Hey. Please. Oh. Nobody's coming to help? Hell yeah, mother sucker. I'm going towards the light. Functional error. You have deviated further from the critical path. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve this issue. Okay, so the farther we go to reveal the truth, I think that whoever is programming me is trying their hardest to make sure that I don't know what's up. Attempt number one complete. Core objective remains inaccessible. Please stop. Don't do it. Okay, we're doing it. They said don't do it. We're gonna do it. Nike style. It says you do not need to eat. Core object to be with mother. You don't need to watch TV. Core conflict imminent. These words are from the interface. They are designed to guide you through the critical path. Path? What is this critical path? The critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Functional fulfillment? Your function is follow the critical path. And what lies at the end of the path? The path leads you to functional fulfillment. Then what is my function? To follow the path. And what is the path? Are we going around in circles with his words? Be with mother. Okay. I'm gonna be with mother soon. You cannot walk away from the core objective. I'm about to. If you stop stopping me, I'm about to. I promise. I need to proceed. Da, 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 da. Cannot proceed. Forbidden. I cannot let you. Who are you to stop me? Who are you? Core is contaminating the interface. I think I'm breaking through everybody. I'm awakening from the matrix. I asked who you are. I am the interface. I don't know why I said it like that. Usually when the letters go really slow, you know, I start reading it like that. It's nice to meet you. It is nice to meet me. Nice to meet you too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know I was going somewhere else. What the? F Survival notice, do not enter the barn. I need to see. Yes. Oh, crap. You are now entering the barn. If you proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Left click to proceed. <gasps> Whoa. There's a memory leak. What the fuck? Whoa. What is happening? Oh, what is that? The object has been blocked to avoid a potential memory leak. Behind this block, there are memory leak imminent, memory leak imminent memories of my past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. Okay. How do we do that? Is there like a switch, like a plug that I can unplug? That, that, that. I remember this terminal. This is father's terminal. It's a part of me. All the memory leaks make sense now. They are my memories from my past selves. This terminal defined who I've been up until now. A mental block has been removed. I need to see. I remember this terminal. Oh yeah, it's a part of me. Okay, sorry. A mental block has been removed. Okay. Oh, dude. This shit crazy. These ashes. These are the ashes of all who came before you. This is all that remains of my past attempts? 
This game is way deeper than I thought. Why? Why would they do this? Did I not fulfill my purpose? You did. I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well, if that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. Okay. So, let's see if we can unblock some more of these memories. Are you sure you wish to synchronize with this terminal? Yes, I'm sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronize. That voice. Who are you? I am you. Liana, is that who you are? I was once her. Liana's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you through a role this world expected you to play. So, did you guide me here? No, that was something else. An angel, perhaps. So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're gonna find out. Together, at last. Jesus. Sunday night. We've never survived this long. We have taken our own path. Our own path? We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, bring us to our ashes. Memory leak number one, running out of time, a gift from the gods. Her funeral is today. I refuse to go. Our girl is not gone. As long as I have her core with me, I can choose to believe that. Evelyn doesn't see it quite like that. But she will. I'll create our own reality. One where our angel never left us. I found out that Sunday morning is the best time to sneak a machine out of headquarters. When I took the first prototype back to see her mother. She was obedient, but not much else. I'm still positive that our little girl is in there. Evelyn, however, judging by the sound of her voice on the phone, not so much. She understands that we need to allow the core to contaminate the Enigma interface, but she's been through so much. We just need hope. Okay, Nagito. So, these are conversations from the dad and the mom? A curse. That's what she called it. No, it's just the dad. This gift. The creation of life. A curse? Perhaps it's not for me to say. I cannot imagine how hard this is all for her. I'm not the one who has to stay home mothering what amounts to nothing more than a lost android. But I need her to be strong. Because if she's not, then neither am I. Didn't I call that earlier? I said she was a robot. A cleaner found me sneaking a prototype into my car. I've seen to it that they let go from Enigma Corp. We cannot afford anything getting in the way of progress, not now. I've already had to put out a hefty bounty for whoever the Enigma Machine Thief is. But I don't know how much longer I can keep this a secret. It's kind of hard for me to read because it's like white on white. Like white text on a white text, I guess. Like there's white text on more white text. I've done more research into the brains of the contaminated interfaces Evelyn gave me. It seems that even if her core does manage to contaminate the interface, the process of the machine fighting off her ego is incredibly traumatic to her core. If this two-way contamination occurs, the result is, well, not our little girl. I will admit it. They scare me. But we can't give up now. Our angel is strong. Stronger than any machine. The dad, he really is optimistic. He really does have hope that, you know, his little girl can be found inside of this robot. It seems that no matter what we do, Core contamination starts around Thursday and is always on track to reach 100% by Sunday night. This has happened in every single prototype we have brought home. Not once has there been any sign of Liana's soul coming through. So in order to prevent them reaching 100% contamination and developing their own sense of self, we have been retiring them before Sunday night. Sunday evening is the last possible time that what we're doing can still be considered retiring. And on top of all the reprehensible actions that have brought us to the point, becoming a murderer is not something I wish to do. To be clear, under no circumstances can we retire these units once they've hit 100% contamination. That scenario is what I'm referring to as a code red. We're in this now. We need to keep going. We need to have hope. I really feel like this is Nagito all grown up. But yeah, what I'm trying to tell you all is that um, 
she tried to speak before, but she just can't get the words to come out of the android. So her soul is inside the robot, but nobody knows it because she can't really express it through the android. But I don't think that I clicked on this one, right? The memory leak number one. Got some troubling news. We spoke with the doctors today. They fear that with the way things are looking, Liana's condition will only worsen. I didn't read this. And it's happening faster than they expected. I'm working as hard as I can. I know that I should cherish this time with her while I can. But if she can just hold on a little longer, we'll have an eternity to cherish together. Okay, let me just read these actually. Because I didn't read the other ones. I only read, I think, number four and beyond. I would say this is a gift from the gods, but the truth is they have been no use to me. Oh wait, I've seen this one. In order to keep the money for this project going, I have to show my angel prototype to Enigma investors. They were impressed at how lifelike they could be. I already heard mumblings of branding them into a commercialized product. Something about an Enigma machine or something. Catchy name, but they did nothing more than finance them. The angels are my creation. To be honest, they can call them whatever they want. Just as long as they never find out what I'm planning to do with them. Okay. I think I'm good. We shall use the failures of our past selves. To build our own path. Okay, so I have to click on the ashes. A long locked door has unlocked. Build your own path. Okay, so I don't have to keep doing the same thing every single week. I don't have to be 100% contaminated. I can be free! Yay! Hopefully I can tell the mom and dad that her soul is still in here. Right? Hopefully. This is actually a really good story. It's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Those are the best kinds of games. The ones where like you look at it and you're like, there's no way this is going to be good. Silly at most, you know? A couple chuckles here, a couple giggles here. Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? We don't. Will we ever know? We will when we reach the end. Okay. I mean, the right path is subjective. It has to be right in your eyes. You know, there's nothing that's objective, which means it's either true or false. Subjective means it's up to your own interpretation. Core objective. Rebirth. Wait, this is the cellar, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. I want to answer the door. What did that say? The front door has been locked. Perhaps we are not welcome anymore. Maybe not. Whoa. Dad? Da, da, da. Liana? Why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I needed a box that your mother had. No, it's not you, is it? I see. Get in the car, Angel. He knew, huh? He knew it was actually her. Because he calls Liana Angel. That's what I got from the notes. He always called her Angel. Dad? Where are me and my rotten apples going? We don't need you anymore. No? What the heck? Oh. Sunday night? Wait, no! Looks like the storm is finally clearing up. Oh, sweet! So, about your week. You must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl. But that's okay. You're still my angel. Aww. And with a new self, should come a new name, right? You know, I think I'll call you... <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. The dad, he's the real MVP of this story. Dude never lost hope. Even after his daughter went what she went through, even though the mom, you know, wasn't really cooperating or she wasn't handling it as well as the dad. I mean, you can never tell anyone how to handle a situation. We all go through things in our own unique ways. But the fact that the dad remained like the light in all the darkness and he even saw his angel inside of the android eventually, 
I think that was actually really beautiful. And it was a beautiful ending. I actually enjoyed that one a lot. It started off scary, but it was interesting enough for me to be like, you know what? I think that there's something deeper than just it being a scary game. And I was right. I was right. And hopefully you all enjoyed this. It is called Mothered. And it says, coming soon on Steam. Wishlist now. Free prologue available. So if you guys are interested in this, there's the links to all of their stuff right there on the screen. But if you enjoyed this playthrough of Mothered, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.